Good night, everyone. I just want to come online today to show you uh, an online mapping system uh, in Fiji, here in Fiji, um, released by the government of Fiji, uh, that is free to the public, where you can view land boundaries, uh, land parcels, uh, freehold, state land, native land, um, land that has been surveyed, eh? but not including uh, Matangali land and uh, Tikina land boundaries those are not included in uh, in the online mapping platform called the Vanua GISA and in order for any one of you to view it anyone around the world as long as you have internet access um, you can access this mapping platform by going to google and then typing as you can see here on the screen uh, Vanua view online Especially right here, one of you online distributed by the Ministry of Land and Mineral Resources. Now, this was a paid application um, in the past years. You have to pay over $2,000 annually to access the database. But now the government has given it free to everyone. And what it shows us is uh, freehold land, state land, and native land. Uh, lands that have been surveyed and uh, allocated lot numbers. So here on the map, we have the green land and the red land. Green land uh, tells us where the state land, state land boundaries run. The green represents the state leases and the red represents the freehold. And there are small orange ones that represent um, native leases. So if you go to the top hand, right hand corner of your screen, you would be, you would, you are able to see the, the legends. That show us the surveys, annual leases, state leases, freehold parcels, and so forth. Hotels and all this uh, information. And if you go to the layer list, you will be able to uncheck and check whatever information you want shown on your map. Yeah, and see months. What do you represent? Okay, anyway, so the green represents state, and the red represents freehold. And you can search the entire Fiji for um, for these lands. This is a very useful information, especially if you are wanting to buy land. Um, or sell land and you're wanting to know how the extent of the boundary of the that certain land goes for real estate for real estate agents and also for banks for mortgages those who wanting to buy mortgages and they um, they're just given a city number and start drawing you can come on here and uh, look for those uh, details and the, the, uh, of the boundary of the place through this uh, one of you online platform. So here we are in my hometown of Sabu Sabu. And you can see that most of it is free old, which is red. You can zoom right in. And it will show you where the boundaries run. Now these boundaries, these are indicative boundaries only. It indicates to us where this lot runs, where this lot runs. If you want to uh, look if you want to look for your pegs of your property, you would have to talk to a surveyor, a professional surveyor would help you find your pegs for your property. But in this case here, this is just for indicative purposes only, for discussion purposes. And uh, the main aim of uh, giving this online was for um, show of business or what you call for business or something. And the green one shows us the State leases, state leases, or crown, crown leases. I mean, you will see some out in like this. Um, these are wet leases, Golingoli uh, wet leases. Um, should, when the green light, go ahead for people to use the Golingoli for fishing or for, I, I think in this case, this is a, there's a pearl palm out there. And you can do all sorts of things with it. You can take measurements, uh, you can measure the area, you can measure the length, you can even click on it. And it'll give you the lot number, plan, the title reference, certified title number, zoom to, then 
get the screenshots of this and uh, what not. You can use the tools up here to measure them. So the red boundary shows us revolt. And then for native registered leases, I've been getting a lot of questions that uh, you can't see them. So here we are in the town of Lambasa, and I will show you how the native leases will look like. So most of the town in Lambasa, most of them are native leases, native registered leases. And if you go on the on the right hand side on the layer list, we'll be able to activate them by clicking on these land parcels, and then clicking on this uh, the arrow down to open up the pins. Surveyed and lengthen, and then you will see here plans and pending approvals, and then parcels. If you click on parcels, you'll see on your map the orange dot comes out, orange lines come up, and these lines will tell us the boundaries and what number. So, this orange one are native, native registered leases. If I'm correct, eh? I'm, I don't work for any government or anything like that, I'm just a normal citizen. PG uh, sharing the information that I have. You all. And you will only be another thing about this uh, the layer, the native uh, layer, list, layer list is that it will only activate at a certain zoom level of your map. So if you zoom out, zoom out, you'll see the thing disappear on your map. But if you zoom in, then you'll be able to it shows. So it activated according to the different zoom zoom level layers. Hmm. That's about it. You can see the lot number, the plan, the, the, the ownership, but it doesn't tell you who owns the land unless you do a title search. Then publish who owns it. A lot of more information that um, that's here. I will detail on that anyway. Hmm. Let's see all these lands. Anyway, so that's just it. That's just that I just wanted to come online today and to share that with you all. And uh, I hope this was informative. You can see this for the whole of Fiji. Hmm. Ready to go. That's, a, that's all from me today, and Mother um, Manta. Stop recording. Stop recording.